Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and today I want to show you how you can determine when to start your descent to reach a specific altitude at a specific location such as a fix or a waypoint. For instance air traffic controller might instruct you to cross a fix or a vor at a certain altitude. So this is a formula that will help you figure out approximately when to start your descent. Now this is just a rule of thumb or a good guess, but it works really well. Now you should also start your descent up to four or five miles before this suggested distance just to be safe. You want to make sure you get to your desired altitude a little before you reach your destination or the fix or the vor that you've been instructed to cross. Also, you should recalculate a couple of times along the way to be sure you're on track. So in this tutorial, we will start our descent about three quarters of a mile early because it's only a thousand foot descent. If we had to, say, descend 20,000 feet, then it would be better to start much, much earlier, three, four, five miles out, depending on uh, the weather conditions and other factors that could affect your descent. So let's just see how this works. So here's the formula. You determine how many thousands of feet you need to descend. So let's say we're at 10,000 feet and we want to descend to 9,000 feet that's a 1,000 foot descent. So for this formula we drop the zeros. We're using thousands of feet. So that is 1. And we multiply the thousands of feet by 3. So 3 times 1 is 3. So you would start your descent 3 miles from the destination or the fix. So what is our rate of descent? To calculate the rate of descent or the feet per minute we take half the ground speed and add a zero. So if we were traveling at 100 knots, half that speed would be 50, and we add a zero, and that would be 500. So our descent rate would be 500 feet per minute. Now remember, this is not your indicated airspeed. This is ground speed. So that's the formula. So let's see how it works. By the way, the DME indicates the distance from the VOR, and that includes your altitude. So when we cross over the Nelson VOR, the DME will indicate about 1.7 miles because we're at 9,000 feet. At 15,000 feet, the DME would indicate about 2.8 miles when we cross over the VOR. So you want to factor that in, too, when you're using this formula. So now let's just say we've been instructed by our traffic controller to cross over the Nelson Vore at 9,000 feet. So here we are right here, and here's the Nelson Vore, and we're at 10,000 feet. So we are going to start our descent, oh, about three and three-quarter miles out, since it's only a thousand-foot descent. So hopefully this will be a safe, out, a safe distance to start. And then we'll check our progress oh, about a mile and a half or so. We just want to make sure uh, that we're about 9,500 feet when we're a mile and a half out. Remember, we want to be early, not late. Also, watch for the arrow up here, the two from, and that will indicate when we are crossing over the VOR. And our DME is going to say about 1.7 miles. So here we go. Okay, we're coming up on 3.8 miles. That's a good place to start our descent. Now we're going to try to maintain 100 knots. Looking at the GPS, this is our ground speed. Remember, we're not using indicated airspeed. We are using ground speed. So there's 100 knots, 500 feet per minute descent. When we get to 9,500 feet, we should be a mile and a half out. Let's just see how this works.
2.2 miles. Now remember we have to calculate the altitude in here so it's a little difficult to do that. And the speed has creeped up on me a bit. Slow it down to 100 knots again. So coming up on 9,000 feet, let's just take a look at the map and see how we're doing. Notice the, the OR just started flopping back and forth. So we have crossed over the VOR right at 9,000 feet. Well, actually, that's really pretty good. So we probably should have started this descent maybe a mile before or four miles out instead of 3.8 miles but as you can see it was necessary to start almost a mile earlier anyway so there you have it this is just a nice way to get a rough idea of when to start your descent you're going to need to experiment with this with different altitudes as you can see here we are 1.5 miles from the bore and we are right on top of it so Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this. If you liked this, please click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment, I would appreciate that. And thank you again for watching, and God bless.